chop, 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 chop. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker, and welcome to How to Chop Firewood Without Knowing How to Chop Firewood. It's simple. Now this is a pretty manly activity, so we're going to need a leather jacket. Manly no! Ooh! Ha <laughs> ha Let's go. Okay, so first things first. Search your property, or your neighbour's property when they're not looking, for fallen trees or dried pieces of wood. Ah, here's one we prepared earlier through the magic of YouTube. I would have gotten more, but that would have required the magic of television, and no one's got the budget for that. Except Oprah. Whatever happened to Oprah? Okay, now that we have our long, hard piece of wood, we'll need something to chop it on, some courage, and my axe! Well, technically it's a wood splitter, but we'll call it my axe! Place the piece of wood that you're going to chop on the other piece of wood. Then look for any cracks or weak spots. Cutting along these will make our job easier. Then stand by with your feet apart. This will give you a stable stance and, if you miss, only two of your legs will get hurt. Now, before you cut some wood, if you're feeling a little uptight, release some tension first by cutting the cheese. Ah, that's much better. Now take aim at one of those cracks. Then bring your axe up to here and hope for the best. Okay, looks like we're sneaking up on it. Ugh. Now it's important to remember the secret, and the secret is, it's not so much how much power you have, but your accuracy and form, because the wood splitter head is already pretty heavy, so it'll do most of the work. Which is kind of weird, because the heavier I get, the less work I want to do. So take aim again at that weak spot. Ah, good, I meant to do that, I, I, I was startling it, but now I'm in business. Yes! 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 Now if you feel like the axe head is getting loose, bang it on the ground to whack it back into place. But then realise it's welded on. Now let's chop some more wood. Okay, you've successfully chopped some firewood, but you might want small pieces. For that, you'll need a circular saw in a table. But remember, safety is our number one priority, so eye protection and ear protection are a must. And you might also want to put the gloves on. Find a wheelbarrow or some other receptacle that you can put by your axe machine to catch the wood. The important thing to keep in mind here is to keep your body parts away from the sharp spinning metal thing. So feed your wood slowly from a distance and if a piece does get stuck, nudge it with another piece of wood. You want to make sure not to cut them too big or else they won't fit in your fireplace. But likewise, you don't want to cut them too short either because there's a hole in the bucket. And again, why is safety so important? because if you get hurt, that'll make me feel really, really sued. Once you've chopped all your firewood, put it somewhere under cover and not too far away from the door. And it'll be ready for when you want to light up and get nice and toasty. And that's how to chop firewood without knowing how to chop firewood. I'm Sam Tucker and my axe. Ha ha. Subscribe today. Punk it down. You call that cutting the cheese? Let me show you how a man does it. Yeah! That's right, you got some learning to do. You better head over to audibletrial.com forward slash samtime and download a free audiobook like how to improve your chops.